up, dogs, and welcome to chapter two of Deep Root Manor. In the previous one, we now learned that there's a witch in here. What? A witch? In here, I thought that it was just going to be all about the spooky ghosts and the haunted mansion -y stuff. But no, instead, there's a ghost. So here we are. You're going to see that I have a file too. Well, turns out I was a dum dum. I was recording and I did not check my OBS to double check and sh make sure that it was actually capturing the footage. footage. Well, it was, but the screen was frozen the whole time. And God Damn it. Am I kind of upset about it? But hey, it's cool. Now we're just going to do this. And uh, clearly, there's some things I'm just going to know about. But don't worry. No spoilers. Instead, we're here to enjoy the mystery that is Deep Root Manor. And who exactly the switch is? It's my window that allows me to peek outside. Seems like there's a back garden. No way I can press through this. Though, Richard... Maybe. As in Richard could be there. Ah, right, Bunny. It's time you and I get down to business. Statue is small and not fixed on the ground. Maybe I could push it out the way. Also, the head seems a bit loose. Looks spinnable. Look at this, guys. Oh my god! 360! Ah! Exorcism! Ah, I had spinning motions of doom. <laughs> oh, what the? Uh, did I end up screwing the head off? Was it supposed to work this way? Wait, it does. There's something inside the neck. There's a button on the Robert's severed neck. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, it vomited at me. Gross. Whoa, was the base of the statue a water container or something? Seems like it was filled with water. Odd. And there's something left inside. Ew. Inside the statue where the water was, there are several dead clams. One might be still alive since it's closed shut. <laughs> Help me dump my pocket. Well, I guess the water is where most of this thing's weight was coming from. Rare statue has no head now, and the inside of the base is empty. Without the water, I can push it around. <gasps> but where will I push it to? Well, I actually know. Oh, wait, right. I don't need to actually talk to you to push it. I just push it. Carry on my statue. Oh, man. Headless rabbit statue. There'll be peace when you are done. And here it is. Right on end. Now I wonder what's gonna be inside. I actually don't know what's inside. That's where I left off. But there are a few more puzzles that I solved before taking a look at that. So we'll go ahead and do that first. A tall bookcase. I think there are some classics of literature up there, but they're too high to read the titles. Yes, that is correct. It is none other than the library. It's a tall bookcase. Nothing useful. Just a bunch of fiction novels. A tall bookcase. God dang useless. They're all so useless. Door is locked. But guess what we have? The library key. Now, I don't know how I did not do that in the first time or in the first part it's like seriously I could have had entrance to the library this whole time and how wondrous would that have been filled with novels nothing peculiar or particular oh so I guess you're just lame huh worst books in the world barely any books in it the ones are in all about art history oh wow look at Look at the people who used to live here. Very schmancy fancy. Aren't they? Must be an artiste of some sort, you'd think. There's just gotta be some sort of secret with these books, right? Why else would there be a library? 
with almost all of these interactables. In the corner, there's an antique narrative poem. A huge number of expensive looking books, mostly literature. On this lower shelf, there are a few horror stories. Well, that's misplaced. Poetry, books, or Edgar Allan Poe. I gotcha. Makes sense to me. There's a black book sticking out from the rest, sitting on the shelf. No title. It looks like some kind of a cold tome. Oh, sure. Let's do it up. I actually did not find that the first ch chapter. I mean, the first time. So, awesome. A huge number of expensive looking books. Mostly literature. I spy some detective novels. One of which I doubt I can say out loud. What's that supposed to mean? Are the titles endu endowed? <laughs> Non-family friendly? Or is it uncapa friendly? <laughs> God, there's just so much evil in this world of YouTube. Lots of books about manual work. Nothing that seems relevant. One on the other side is sticking out. Ew, what could it possibly be about? Manual work? Nothing relevant? Left sticking out? Could you be the one that's sticking out? Carpentry, it's sticking out. Oh, we gotta read it now. Um, turns out it's done special. Wood engraving. Oh, weird. There's also a small blood splat on the cover. <laughs> she does not even care. She's like, oh, look, blood. Boop. <laughs> God damn it, girl. She says the same thing if I were to look at it, by the way, for a second time. Which is so weird. But then I was like, hmm, what if this is just to say that whoever did this attempted carpentry and then messed up? That could also be the thing. And I think that is the thing. So, feels bad, person that messed up. Hopefully you still got all fingers. Otherwise, awkward. Bugs. Scarpanica Kesperens. Mandarachnia Gargantium. Oh, jeez. Those things sound terrifying. Plants. Tiny bug pulled half out. Seems to be about local plant life. Um, someone must have been interested in this. A peach has been torn in half. Oh, one unique and dangerous kind of flora that flourishes in these woods is the Amanita purpura, affectionately known as Moo. <laughs> Gee, have the worrying characteristic of easily re. Res that cause he. Anomalies. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, out of context, that just sounds so weird. Now, I don't suppose this old picture. By the way, I haven't shown you this picture. But that's the picture. That dude looks super angry. Actually, they all look either angry, upset, or just like they don't care. Alright, pretty sure that's not how it works. But, didn't hurt to attempt. Tall bookcase, judging from the title on spy covers. Music! They're all about music and none of them's interactable. Okay. <laughs> Saving you guys the time. Exclusively focus on wine. Oh, also with the wine, nothing interactable. She hates wine. She's probably just too young to understand it. Alright, what's here? God dang it, completely jammed. How dare you? Oh, what the? Oh, this is the first? How was that? Uh, what? It came this way. I didn't notice it at first, but you can go below the walkway to the ground floor of the library. Oh, yeah, I was actually looking for that entrance, but the first time I actually just saw the entrance. Wow. Big brain stuff. Taxidermy. That's, that's really cool. I guess it's a way for the developer to be like, hey, player. This is an entrance, god damn it. You took all that direction. <laughs> Thanks, Fuquo. I appreciate it. Alright, so cooking and bugs. This is the good stuff, man. Stuff that truly, really matters. Out of all the books in this library, cooking books, heck yeah. Well, that one has some ripped pages, which goes to show that someone was trying to make something, but they probably failed. Or they were successful. We don't know the story of that. And we're just going to have to live with it. All right, economics, they're all boring. She does not care. Trust me. Religion. Also, I think there's something way up there. Everything else is about religion. So much brimming. Oh my god, very inspirational. She does not care. <laughs> now this, this here is the hint for a puzzle that's up top there. 
And I really want you guys to use your biggest of brain powers to try and solve this. Because I could not figure it out. If you guys know the solution, comment down below why this makes sense. The volumes need to be rearranged on the two shelves on top of the bookcase. The arrangement has to be specific as the final result requires the following. 1. If you were to take away two books from the lower one and put them on the other, you would end up with twice the books above compared to below. That's condition one. Condition number two. Do the same with one more book and you would end up with three times the books below. So, did you guys get that? You remove two books from the bottom shelf to put it on top. So now that the top shelf has twice as many as the bottom shelf. But if you repeat that prop, if you, if you take one more book from the bottom and put it to the top, well now you got three times the books below that you have on the top. How does that make sense? <laughs> place the volumes of these two requirements to be achievable and press the button for the pressure plates to unlock the side compartment. You guys are confused, right? Don't worry, I'll read it one more time for you. They need to be arranged as specific as the final result requires the following. If you were to take two away, if you were to take away two books from the lower one and put them on the other, which has to be the top because there is no other, you end up with twice the books above compared to below. Do the same with one more book, so take one more from the bottom and put it on top, and you will end up with three times the book below. But how is that possible? How is that possible if the top shall already have two times more than the bottom one, but then if you take one more away from the bottom one, then you now have three times on the bottom as you do on top? What? By the way, it was missing a step. In case you guys didn't catch the read. So if I use the wooden peg that I took from the doll. And use it as a step ladder. <laughs> no offense doll. And, and then she climbs down. Because it's now climbable. It's like great job girl. <laughs> great job. Two empty shelves. But there's a key behind bars. And some books that could fit inside these two shelves here. Hmm. Now you guys are probably wondering. Well what's the solution? Oh. Wait till you guys see. Wait till you guys see. Oh god damn it. I didn't mean to empty. It might be 5-5. Five, five, but I'm going to start with 4-4. Four, 6-6. Four. Six, six. Da 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 da. Can't you guys tell? You got twice as many on the top. But because we removed one more from the bottom and put it on the other or the top, there's now three times as many on the bottom as there is on the top. Yes, I'm salty. God damn it, how does that make sense? Unless this was totally a hint for something else completely separate. It makes no sense in this application. Zero sense. But hey, it's cool. I forgive you. It was a simple puzzle to guess. Which, yes, I did guess. <laughs> Alright, so now we just need to use that key on a door. And then once we explore that room, then we'll be fully caught up. Alright. So here we go. Off and away, we shall explore. This away. I forgot this person's name, by the way. It was something simple. But her name never really comes up again, which is why I forgot. So for now on, you're just sister. Here it is. The only other door that's locked. Shove it in, shove it in, and twist. And it's unlocked. Ruh row. Huh? What's that sound? Ruh row. What? Uh, it's time to book it, girl. Nah, don't admire book it. Frick! Oh, man. What the hell is that thing? It's gonna get me if I don't do something. Uh, uh lock the door. No, that thing has not have space, but this clearly looks like a cabinet I could hide in. So hide it, I shall. I'm just hiding here before it's too late. 
Alright. Maybe I can slightly open the wardrobe door to the right to peek when he's gone. Or alternatively, hear me out. Bonkers. But you can also just listen to the thumps. <laughs> It ain't safe out there. I can tell you that. It ain't safe. Ugh. The moment that there's a roaming enemy, I think we all know. I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay. All clear. Noise. Small aquarium filled with some murky mud water. Ew. I think I saw some sheep at the bottom, but I'd rather not use my bare hands. I can't trust this water. You could just pour it out, right? I wonder. Will this actually work? I know clams live in water, but I don't think this water is any good now. <laughs> and I don't see what good it I'd get back. Might as well try to open it up. Oh, so like with a screwdriver? A big fat clam. Still alive and tightly shut. I believe they open up when boiled. Oh. Interesting. Big and soft and comfy. Several notes are scattered. They're old and unintelligible. One note is still readable, though. Music practice, dinner, three and a half hours later, four and 7.30 respectively. All right, check this out, guys. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Hell yeah. Noise. <laughs> and now, I get the bad ending. <laughs> Can you just imagine that? Oh, how terrible that would have been. She said that it looks odd, by the way. And she got a domino block. Which, by the way, in my opinion, is that it's most likely a piano key. But I guess we will see when we see it. Makes me wonder if it really is a domino block. Perhaps not. Anything over here, by the way? A tall, imposing bookcase. Mostly paperwork, folders, and documents. On this shelf, though, there's a book leading out called Clam Breeding. Oh. Oh. Weird. When thinking about breeding clams for their pearls, it's key to find a suitable spot. Oh, that's that's the scheme here. The first need is obviously an enclosed space containing a sufficient amount of salt water kept at a natural level. An open aquarium will suffice, as long as it's kept dimly lit or downright lightless. <laughs> no, did you know clams can't get it on unless it's unless the setting is <laughs> is right. <laughs> you know. Clams have a very erotic lifestyle. Oh, jeez. I didn't even know this much information. So it might last only one year. Well, there are cases of some reaching over 500 years. The erotic life cycle? Oh, jeez, man. Oh. What a... F what a... Whew. Their mind must be blown throughout the process. Let's not think about it, though. Family friendly. A tall imposing bookcase, mostly paperwork, folders, and documents. Lots of numbers and nothing worth noting. So imposing. Ugh, oh, I'm intimidated by you, bookcase. Ah, oh, numbers. Note. Worthy. Nothingness. Ugh, I need to get out of here. So done so. God, nothing but imposing books! Oh, no, we don't need to read that again. We're done here. Like completely 100% good. That's a fact about clams that I never wanted to know. And now, oh, look, tree report. While preparing the land for construction to take place, we cut down a large number of trees in the area. One stuck out from the others. Can't tell the species. It was young, slim, tall, and brown. I'm a carpenter, not a botanist. Took longer than expected to cut that one down. The stump wouldn't budge. We tried to dig around it, but the roots are way too deep and strong. When we tried burning it, it wouldn't catch fire. It's almost unnatural. Now I have to deal with paranoid workers telling the roots sometimes wiggle. It's alive by the witch. If I hear from them once more that those roots are going straight to hell, I'll beat some sense into them. Bunch of cowards and religious nuts. I are discussing... <laughs> I can just imagine. Oh, there's demon possessing the stump. I was discussing with the master who proceeded to elevate the ground around the stump. Imagining what the impression is coming off towards that guy. From that guy. For that guy. 
The small book seems out of place. It's about interior design or something. There's a dog ear page here. I'm creating a butterfly showcase. It's important to focus on the pattern. And what's better than butterflies is by beautiful patterns. Gross. Not my thing, butterfly collecting. Same for taxidermy. Kind of just grosses me out. For the eye's pleasure, make sensible choices about which butterfly wings to show. The sequence of rows and columns for must adhere to a sort of logical patterns. In a way, it's kind of like having corpses as decorations. Just weird, man. For what that pattern might be, just be sure it follows a likeness of progression. Whichever wings don't fit, away they go. Um, there's a note here tucked between two books. Ooh. I came back early from my daily walk. I felt a chilling sensation running down my spine in an airy feeling of being a watch. I'm afraid it's that woman again. More than once, I met that wicked woman covering herself with raw animal furs. <gasps> the wedge! That crude sight got impressed on my brain like light impressed on a plate. I'm tormented by the very thought of seeing her again. A senseless haunting vision that won't leave me be outside of my home. I pray to God to end this nightmare. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are out, gone out into the world. False prophets is sure the finest denomination one could use to describe that woman. On the way back, I had a childish fantasy of spotting her fur attire while on hunt. I came back home and left a note. I'm in no need for some of some fine rest. All right, so the hunter spotted the witch while the hunting was the doings. An impressive number of books. I wonder if he accidentally shot her or shot at her. And then she was like, hey, I'm cursing your trees. And then chaos reigned. An impressive number of books. <laughs> they all seem to be fiction stories. Don't you just love my uh, my theories? <laughs> uh, but man, witches. Never like witches, man. Always spitting their bodily fluids all over the places. And animal cruelty. It's just rough. But here it is. Disgusting butterfly collection. Like, it's all neat. They have cool patterns and all. But man, they're just corpses. It's a glass case with several pin butterflies in it. It also has one strange spherical lock on the right. Alright, so nothing I can actually do but just use an item against. Which I don't think I have. Alright, now... Once she finished facing all directions and talking to herself, we'll have completely caught up to where I left off on. All right, the coast is clear. All right, now I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's what was inside that statue. What's in there? What secrets does it hold? I gots to know. Ah, oh, man, where is it? It should be where the giant plant thing is. All right, where's the giant plant thing? Uh, through here. All right. Alright, alright, alright. The rabbit's shattered in pieces in the fall. Hmm, something's inside. It's a tile with a rabbit on it. Ah, okay, so I need to get more of these tiles, huh? The grate that's here is broken. Looks like there is something inside. A piece of a photo. Oh. Oh, it broke it. Okay. Well, let's take a look. Single piece of photo. No idea what's showing. Oh. Now you're going to try and have me look at it? Alright, well, let's look at this occult tome. The second thought, let's close it real fast. It's really hard to read. I can only make out some parts of it. It says something about space dislocation or something like that. A space that's been removed from its original position through a spell. Ooh, tiny whiny. No place can be hidden forever. And something about placing a pinch of salt on the entryway to such spaces in order to restore it from omission. Okay. Well, salt has always been the solution to stop anything demonic. Now, my next question is, what do I do? Whoa! Oh. Yep, it's roaming. It's roaming, it's gonna get me. 
good. The store is pretty robust. He gave up and walked away. Well, there goes my life. <laughs> All of a sudden, that was a close call. <laughs> Alright, so I had an idea. Remember the clock? I think it mentioned something about... The thingy. I could use a screwdriver. There it is. It's just a screw. So... Hmm, the screwdriver star shape seems like a good fit for the pivot in the middle of this dial. Alright. But what time do I go through? Oh. I don't understand this though. Is there a reason for the times? Oh man, that sucks. Uh, back to square one. Oh, that's not what I'm owing about, by the way. Oh, good. It can't climb stairs. <laughs> I just had a brain blast moment. Read it, read it, read it, come on! Okay. 1600, music practice. 1930, dinner. First floor, ground floor. First floor, ground floor. Well, that's the only door that is not accessible. Which means... That's probably the music room. And it's giving me a time so I could use the clock. Oh, well, I found where the dinner dining room is. That's down there. Which I could probably use to bake the clam. <gasps> Brain blast. Oh, sparks everywhere. If this worked, you guys better hit that like button. I swear to God. Y'all better hit that like button. If it doesn't work, then you could comment down below. Ha ha. <laughs> Either will do, as both would help promote my video against the evils that is YouTube algorithm. Okay, my loss. Nope, here I am. Swear to God, if it works, you guys. If it works. But yeah. Oh what? Oh, I got probably gotta use screwdriver, huh? But yeah. Okay. Oh, I can use Wazda to move too. This game is is smart. <laughs> Ingenuity. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. The suspense, I know. Like it right now. Oh, the door is now unlocked. Then the mechanism that holds the door back is connected to that grandfather's clock, as I thought. Dang girl, you have a big brain. Holy Christ. It's my music box. There are two holes on top of it. Oh. Do you think a clam will fit in one of them? <laughs> no. Can it even be played? Oh. 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 Guess it's not working at all. Probably until you get the two stuff in there, huh? This is pretty bulky piano. It's infested with vines, but a portion of the keyboard seems to be pretty good shape. Oh, Jesus. Man, I don't know anything about music. Um, I'm pretty sure a key is missing. Yes, it is. Where's this thing? Aha! 
this thing was actually a key missing from this piano. It fits perfectly in here. Yep. It still works. Alright, now I need a music sheet. The picture frame is on the table. The photo on the side looks partial though. What do you mean? Ooh, I got the other one. Where are you? Where are you? Old picture. Use a baby. Looks like this is the same picture. Aww. Only the wife is happy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you perfect match. Picture frame is on the table. I put back together the photo inside. What was the point? <laughs> God damn it. Tell bookcase. Mostly empty and awfully dusty. Ugh, so dusty. Very awful. I sneeze. There's a note between some music books, though. Yeah. Let's see. It's old, and there's something handwritten on it. Two kids, three adults, all dressed in black, and from them the keys are found. Together they pose, and from left to right the order is found. Their arms reach out left and right to each other, and from that the timing is found. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. This is gonna teach me how to play the piano. <sighs> I don't get it. <clears throat> Timing is found from the kids that hold hands. Two. What's that? What's two supposed to mean? Like every two beats? And then play from left to right? Um. Think about music. Letters. Notes. Okay. Genders. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even know my musical notes. And I would assume that this game would show me the notes on the piano. Right? Because music is not common knowledge. Shut up. Yes, we did take it in school. But after middle school, you don't learn about music again. <laughs> <sighs> Their arms reach out left and right to each other from that the timing is found. Oh man. I think it's finally time you guys. Two kids, three adults, all dressed in black and from them the keys are found. Two kids, three adults, all dressed in black. Uh... Humana, 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 humana. Brain power activating. Okay. As in, there are five black keys to press. I only play the black keys and I play them using their arms, holding each other, giving me the power of time. There's two of them. So every two ticks. I didn't do it. But I look, there's blood. Don't give me a music puzzle, please. Alright. So I got it. And the only reason I got it was because I saw the solution by a dude named the Lola da Das. Well, he's a YouTuber and he spent like an hour trying to solve this. So dude, I just had to shout you out just for the solving this. And the hint about from left to right, what was it? Three adults, two kids, and then use the hands for timing. So the hands, whichever hands being held, you know how the metronome goes left and right? When it's to the right, then that's when you press the button. When it's on the left of the metronome, that's where you press the key. I should say a key, not button. 
And so for this girl, this guy, and this guy, you press the key when it is when the metronome's to the right, and then for this dude and this dude, you press the key when it is to the left. Or sorry, this guy's to the left. This guy's to the right. So, um, yeah, and I guess they correspond to the keys as well, from left mo leftmost to rightmost, which is kind of why they're divided in half like that. Honestly, would have never guessed it. I would have assumed that the white keys had to do something with this, but dude, just hats off to that guy. My mind is super blown. This this one was just you know mega toughy. So uh right 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 left left right 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 left left right so right right left right left Did I mess it up? I think I messed it up. It was right 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 left left right 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 left left oh okay so apparently there's a sequence to this it's right 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 Left, left. Worst puzzle ever. I'm sorry, dude, but damn. This is difficult as heck. So, right, right. No, it went right, then right, then right, and then left. And left. Maybe there wasn't a sequence and I was just doing it wrong, but. That's, that's just, that's just some hardcore stuff, man. Wowzers. All right, what did I get? What did I get out of that? I got a long rod. Oh boy. A long rod. What I always wanted in life. A rod that's long, a metronome pendulum rod. It's long and it looks like it could be lodged into some other mechanism with spherical pivot. Hmm. This thing has a sphere. Oh, pfft. what am I doing? Oh God. Oh God. This is it. This is where I die. <laughs> oh. I got a metronome again. <laughs> On the bright side, I get to know her name. <laughs> or relearn it. When did I save? Oh, I don't know. Just, um... Quite so forever ago. Correction. I didn't. Oh yeah, also this guy's gone. For whatever reason. God dang it. Alright, here we are. Here we are. God damn it. I hate you. I hate you. Oh, what a poopy butthole. Didn't even arrive this time around. Wow. Ultimate insult. Oh. That thing's a jerk. Oh. Let's go to the clock. God dang tree monster. I hate tree monsters. Burn it, girl. Once you get the chance, burn it. Make sure that it's ashes. Oh. All right, we're gonna go to the clock. We're gonna switch it so that it becomes clam clock. Hmm. And then, uh, six thirty, or is it seven thirty? Was seven thirty. And then, uh, after we clam it up. I guess we'll see from there. But we're gonna clam it up. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta, oh, I gotta use my inventory. 
Where are you, long rod? Shove it in! Well, a metronome's pendulum rod might fit onto this clock's spherical pivot. And it does! Oh, it does! That's cool. It can serve as a long hand. Grandfather clock. It ticks, but the hand move only by rotating the pivot. Don't worry. Um, how do I go about this, by the way? Oh, what? Are you telling me that I got a screwdriver it? Okay, short one. Six, seven. Slick hand, long one. Thirty. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm done with this place. Ah, it disgusts me. <laughs> I spit on this, that clock, and and everything else inside this house. Each room I pass by, I spit on that tree. Ah, <laughs> I gargle and then I spit on it. That's right. What has this channel become? Congrats, it's now a spitting channel. <laughs> Oh my god, what's what's wrong with me? This game is what's wrong with me. It's got to me. Now let's get in here. Uh, hello, uh, do you have a uh, hot pot for my clam? With a huge cabinet, a shame it's fallen apart. It's also empty. So huge, yet so apart. That's fine though. Hello. An empty jar. There's something inside. It has a worn label on the front. It says, Moo. <laughs> something. Just like that story we read. Moo. Um, this jar probably used to contain the mushroom that the doll told me about. But there are none left, except for some traces on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what moo meant. Moo shroom. <laughs> it's not the best, but... If I were to lick the bottom of this jar, I might still get some of the mushrooms effect. Dang, girl. Yeah, do it up. What the heck? Yeah, I don't deserve the right thing to do. <laughs> Blech. Tastes like mold. Ew. Guess I'll just have to wait and see now. Oh gosh, she's gonna die. <laughs> oh, seems like there's completely jammed. Completely jammed. The small lamp is fixed to the table. What an eccentric design. A white tablecloth. It's aged quite well. It looks very ominous. I'd rather not touch it. The small lamp is fixed to the table. What an eccentric design. A, sea sh a salt shaker. Sea shaker. It's full and it looks antique. Oh yeah, you need some salt later on. You read it in an occult book. <laughs> Something about space. I think all this uninformed, unformed stuff on top of the table used to be food, but it's all rotten and it smells awful. Gross. Oh, what the? <laughs> Nothing inside. Ugh. Ugh. You tease. A table not peculiar about it. Table nothing peculiar. Nothing peculiar. Table with no peculiarities, eh? Huh, that's almost peculiar. Oh, what the? Oh, just a mouse. Uh, you know, I'm not surprised. Broken serving to trolley. Nothing on top. Nothing on top. Hmm. What's this? A hole? A hole she does not care about. Her. Interesting. Broken lamp. Oh, stairs. Yeah, let's first try this one. Ooh, you want to lock the door? Oh, quick access, and you know what guys, this will call it for the episode, just because there's a whole downstairs for, the, for us to explore, and what better than to start the new episode than with that. So if you're enjoying the series, hit that like button, comment your thoughts down below, or anything at all, I'd appreciate it so very, very much. And so will the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> Till the next one, you guys. Later!